it's July, we're into the second half of the reading year and we are like within touching distance of summer reading. I'm very excited. Welcome to my July TBR. Welcome back. Oh, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Katrina and I make bookish content here on this channel every week and then my reviews here at the weekend. In the description box below, you will find links to my blog and my Goodreads where I post reviews of most of the things that I read. Um, a lot of these are from my um, net galley shelves, so there will definitely be reviews posted on there. And also linked in the description box will be all the books that I'm going to talk about today. So first off, I'm going to kick off with two books that are released in July, but that I have already read just so they are on your July radar. I'm very excited about them. And if you would like to hear a standalone review of either of these books, please do let me know in comments. The first one is A Song of You and Me, which comes out in the UK on the 6th of July. And this is by Mike Gale, a favourite author of mine. I don't think I have a whole playlist for him, but I do have a video where I talk about reading Mike Gale books in the month of March because it's alliteration. Um, and this one was amazing, will 100% be on my um, top 10 books of the year, you know, guaranteed. I absolutely loved it, absolutely adored it. Uh, from first love to second chances, it says it all really. It's just, it's great. If you like Daisy Jones and the Six, if you like Page Tunes, Johnny Jefferson books, you will love this one. And then another one, again, let me know. I do normally make a standalone review of this author's books, but you know, let me know whether you would or wouldn't like one in the comments. This one is None of This Is True, Her Lies Could Kill You by Lisa Jewell. Love the cover of this one. Um, I do like the US cover as well. Um, I never know which I prefer out of the two um, but this one is Lisa Jewell's latest thriller and it's a bit of mixed media there's a bit of podcast going on in here as well which I absolutely loved I really really enjoyed it again this one will potentially make it onto my top 10 of the year there are some more potentials coming up in July that could be on my top 10 because I've got some of my favorite authors coming out with books this month so again let me know in comments if you um would like a standalone review of this one um but absolutely adored it if you already love lisa jewel obviously you'll love this one and um if you enjoyed now it's the latest i think it was the latest josie lloyd one that came out that had some podcast in it and like this one um yeah definitely you will like this one and both of these are linked in the description box this one comes out in the uk on the 20th of july and i think it comes out in the us just a couple of weeks later it's definitely i think an august release over there um but very exciting right so let's go back to the 20th of July. We have two other books which I'm excited about reading both of them which are on my TBR for July because I do have access to them via NetGalley. Very exciting. The first one I have read the first 25% of this one as of speaking and this one is An Invitation to Seashell Bay. I believe this was probably on my May and my June TBR because I've had it for a little while um, but this one is Bella Osborne's multi-part series. I loved the first little bit of this so I'm excited to get in, get stuck in and read the next 75% of this one and this one comes out in the UK on the 20th of July. It is adult romance, a bit of self-made strong woman and you can see it's got a lovely setting there as well from the cover. And then of course we have to talk about another one where I'm going to event for this author. Very excited. I'm also excited that she's coming to a signing in Milton Keynes as well. So even though I'm going to an event with her in Reading, like an actual event, potentially I'll just bob along to the signing in Milton Keynes because it's not often I actually get authors coming to the Milton Keynes Waterstones. Very exciting. Literally 20 minutes from my door. Um, this one is Love Me Do by Lindsay Kelk. And I love the fact that there's a quote from Emily Henry on here with, I'll read anything she writes. And um, I completely agree. And I think a lot of the Kelk fans would uh, would agree with this as well. You know, we would read her shopping list. Absolutely. Any chance to read anything that Lindsay Kelk has written, absolutely um i know nothing about this book but i know it's going to be amazing and i love this cover it's a bit of a different cover it's a bit of a departure and i do have an entire lindsay kelp playlist which i will leave linked up above and there is potential that I will do a standalone review of this one here on the channel as well. So please do let me know in comments which of these books, or if all, all of these books, you do or do not want a standalone review of. Um, she's written the perfect romance, dot, 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 for someone else. That is the tagline here. So um, yeah, excited. This one comes out in the UK on the 20th of July. And I think there are still some tickets left to some of the tour dates. I'm going to the Reading tour date, just in case uh, you're coming as well. Do let me know. I'm very excited. Um, again, 
I don't think I've ever been to a book event like actually in Reading before, so that's exciting. Um, it's not the closest one for me, but hey, it's fine, it's good. Um, so yeah, 20th of July, massive release date here in the UK, and coincides with my penultimate day of school, which means that these can all get loaded on for me, and then I can read them in the first week of the summer holidays. Yay! It's so exciting. Um, I have also pre-ordered the audiobook of this one. Um, this one was on my um, books I want to read this year video, which if you haven't seen it, I'll try and link it up above. Um, but this one is Talking at Night by Claire Daverly, Daverly. Um, and I know nothing about this book, <laughs> but um, I've read... I think a synopsis for it at some point when I set the pre-order um, and it's finally here, pre-order time is finally here, it's going to hit my Kindle on the 20th of July, all ready for me to start listening to on my way back from school on that day. Um, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be an interesting one. I'm loving just the like ombre tones of this front cover though and just the fact that we've got this bowl of cereal on here, it's the perfect accompaniment to talking at night. Um, I believe that it's just adult general fiction. I should know more about it, but I'm just excited about reading it because I read the blurb of it like back at the beginning of the year and pre-ordered it. So there we go. Oh, here's the US cover. You ready? Mm, I know which one I prefer. Which one do you prefer? I 100% uh, prefer this one, um, but mm, this one's okay, but it screams US cover to me, doesn't it? That looks right like the book of the month cover right there, doesn't it? Definitely. Oh, and I have the uh, the US cover of um, the Lisa Jewel one, which I like both. I like this one and this one. Um, and both of these books were on that video talking about my uh, books I want to read this year. Um, yes and then we have an audiobook which is on my radar which was also on my books i want to read this year this one is the beach holiday by isabel broom which did come out at the end of june and i totally missed so again i hit buy on my uh, audible um if you don't already have audible i do have a link in my description box i think you get a free month or a free book um which is exciting um but yes i ordered this one on audible and this one is um it's going to be a summer to remember isabel room always does amazing escapism books so even if you're not going anywhere because you know you're going to be ill because it's the first week of the summer holidays you can still escape somewhere um, and enjoy via the writing of Isabel Broom. I'm excited to listen to this one um, and then there's an August release which I have access to which will definitely be read towards the end of July because I will have that time um, slash will be re read closer to publication date because this one comes out in the UK on the 3rd of August again I know nothing about it, but this is a favourite author of all time of mine. I've been reading this author for far too many years than I care to remember. The tagline for this one is, Can Their Love Stand the Test of Time? And I am absolutely in love with the cover. This one is From Now Until Forever. And I worry about the tagline. Although I'm excited to read the book, I'm worried about the tagline. I'm worried that I'm going to go through something emotional whilst listening to this book um or reading this book as the case may be um i think i have it on ebook and not an audiobook i think i did request an audiobook review copy of this one but it hasn't been granted yet so uh, read this book now until forever can their love stand the test of time i don't know i'm so excited though and let's yeah just take a moment just oh isn't it lush the stars and the dandelions and the skyline it's giving me like Mary Poppins vibes at the bottom. Oh, it's not even stars, it's just dandelion clocks. Oh, because of the time. Yes, the clocks, I get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, two more audiobooks I have on my TBR because I, yes, will have time as of the 21st of July. I will have a little bit of time to read. That gives us a, an entire week of reading. Um, and I might be doing things like doing some more to my house at that time. So I will be listening to audiobooks. Um, so even though I did not like It Ends With Us, I feel like having invested... Um, I need to read It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. Um, I don't know why I feel the need to read with this. I don't know what it's going to be about. I haven't read the blurb because I didn't want to be spoiled. I just wanted to go in being like, is the hype worth it? Um, but this one says, every ending has a beginning. So 
We shall see. Um, I am perfectly ready to DNF this one if I don't like it though, because I felt like I had to finish the other one to fully ask what the hype was all about. But this one, if I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. Um, and then I don't know if anyone else has watched Shiny Happy People on Amazon Prime um, about the, the story of the Duggar family. Um, but I watched it and there was an author <laughs> talking about things on there and I immediately went on to, um, I think I went on to Goodreads and looked up this author and then went on and saw whether my um, library, Audible or Scribd had this book. Uh, so I have this book because I am be trying to be a bit intentional about reading a bit of non-fiction every month, like through decision rather than just falling into it occasionally I just fall into some non-fiction every month but if I put something non-fiction on my TBR then I'm more likely to make sure because I do find that I really enjoy having that non-fiction aspect to break up the fiction uh, but this is True Story What Reality TV Says About Us by Danielle J Linderman um, and this one is that Danielle J Linderman was the one who uh, was one of the talking heads on the um, Shiny Happy People series on Amazon but she talks about the fact that in her book she also covers other reality TV shows and you know being somebody who is deeply into Love Island right now and was very much obsessed with Big Brother back in the day I'm really excited to read this book and uh, see what me watching reality TV really does say about me um yeah excited for that one I do have the audiobook of that one so I've got three specific audiobooks two July releases that I've already read one that I have um pre-ordered and two that I have on NetGalley plus that one cheeky little August release that I will read if I have time in that first week of the summer holidays. Hopefully, hopefully I will have time. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about my July reading. I'm excited for the prospect of some summer reading even though I know I'll end up like going away and being busy just some reading in the garden with nothing else to do and not being like oh I should be doing work right now or or I should be going to bed right now because it's a school night it's just it's a very exciting time so please do let me know in comments if you would like standalone reviews of any of those July releases that I talked about um, and let me know what you're going to be reading in the month of July as well always excited to hear what everyone else is reading um, I will be back with more bookish content for you very soon including my top 10 10 books of the first half of the year um, and potentially some of those standalone reviews for you as well so make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on those if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and uh, yes I will be back with another video for you very soon so I will see you then thanks for watching Woo!